In this lesson we're going to look at fitting text to a path and by path we mean any object, a curve, um, a piece of clip art, any object that you can fit the, the text to. Now in order to do that we need to create that object. So in this case we'll just create a simple curve object such as this uh, and we'll just make sure that it's nice and curvy and we'll position it roughly in the center here like that. Now we need to select both the text and the object together in order to be able to fit the text to that object. So we can draw a marquee by left clicking and drawing out a marquee like that and letting go and that selects both objects. Alternatively you can hold down the shift key on your keyboard and click the first object then the next one and that selects them together. Then we go over here to this flyout and we go down and we click on fit text to path click on that and you can see that it's applied the text to this path. You'll also see this uh, dotted uh, blue line which turns red when we go over it and if we left click on that and push it out we can then move the text off the path. We can also move the text around the path with this node here. It's like a roller coaster ride and we just go around like that and position it anywhere we like. Now we can also set these positions numerically up here in these tools so I might set that at say uh, 0.9 of an inch, whatever I want to do, and that will set that. I can also use the up and down arrows to position it. I can set the offset to say 2 inches, and as you can see the offset's now 2 inches. And I can bring it back with my mouse. So I've got control where I want to position that text. The text itself behaves just like any other text, and if I wanted to, for example, change the colour of this text here, I can just select it with my mouse like that and I can change it to say red or blue. I can make it bold. I can italicize it. I could even, for example, make this uh, letter here superscript. Whatever I want to do, the text behaves as text. The other thing I can do too is I can go to the end of the text here and I can press enter on my keyboard and I can type in more text, as you can see. And I can zoom away and I can position it and I can keep still spinning that around like that, meaning that I can really create all sorts of effects with text on path and as you can see it just brings it back in. And that's text on path.